Ugh, it's too hot in here to have that on. Um, John just showed me on Facebook that it counts down to exactly when we're going to be going live. Man, I can't, I can't cut a break here anywhere. <laughs> keep me on point. So uh, I was just, my daughter just called. She said, well, you know, it's a holiday. And she goes, you're going live. Well, yeah, maybe in the United States, but it's not a holiday everywhere. Well, no, don't hold me to that because Thanksgiving, we're going to take off. <laughs> but um, so glad you guys are joining me today. I've got to close this drive me crazy bit of my OCD coming out, of which I have none, but I can't stand that that thing is open. Anyways, um, hey Margo, today you guys have just been on fire with this faces thing. And so what I want to do today is I really don't have a lot to teach, although I might show you one thing that you go, oh, that's kind of cool. I want to look at the stuff you guys are doing because I, I, once again, why am I surprised? Okay, the other thing I want you to know is that I've got two really important notes that I'm going to tell you at the end. Two really important things that you're not going to want to miss. So please stick around for that. I'm very, very excited about what I'm going to two things share. So what I would like to do is for some reason, you guys, I don't even know how it happened, but I uh, got back into CAFE's um, finished quills. That was just kind of like buried and it was on the forum and there it was. And we would be remiss to not take a look at a couple of these CAFE quilts that have sim since landed on the forum. It's so important to share, you guys. And I'll tell you, I'm going to look at cave, we're going to look at baskets, and then I'm going to go to the forum because as I started looking at what you were doing with faces, it was like, holy Toledo. I mean, I just, I did copy about half of them and I thought, this is crazy. Let's just go to the forum and teach you yet again how to get there. So this is FTs and this is, um, I think it was a gentleman. I'm not sure, but look at that cave. And again, I really adore that outside border. And a couple of you did things like that where you just extended it out and then zigzagged it with white. That's super cool. Okay, here's Paula's with her house in it. A lot of you are putting houses in your quilts, and I think that is absolutely entirely appropriate. And then this is Ember. That, the one before was Paula's. So you guys are just rocking it, okay? And then now we're going to look at a couple basket quilts and see what's going on there. Okay, that is awesome. And here is the problem is I can't remember exactly what you said, Brenda. I think you mentioned something about the quilting that you hadn't done it like that. Uh, I do like that border a lot. And I like the, remember how I kind of weird about borders? A border has to be there for a design reason. And that is a design reason. And then I like the way you tumbled those half square triangles down the whole thing that like as spacers, that's super cool. Okay. And then here's another baskets. It's Linda. And okay, so she wrote, <laughs> she wrote, and she even put a house in it again. And I kept looking, where is the house? I mean, I feel like I was like, where's Waldo is what I was doing. And there it is. It's right under the pinwheels, kind of to the right hand side, almost halfway down. I, I just think this is adorable. And if you haven't sewn all your quilts together, you might consider inserting a house because it just absolutely tells the story. And then we have Vintage Lady. <laughs> Happy Halloween. I love this. Fabulous. So much fun. I, I like those sunbonnet Sue's in there or whatever they are. I don't even know what those are, but they are hilarious. So certainly that says boo doesn't it now? <laughs> okay. Before we get into what I'm going to share with you now, I'm going to once again, try to get onto my desktop and let's go take a cruise around TQS. So I go to that. 
Lucky thing I'm not looking at anything naughty, because you'd see it right now. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, now yours is not going to look like this when you go to the main page. This is an administration page, so just ignore all this. But let's go look at... Uh, Let's go look at Connect, okay, right over here. Go down to the forum. There we go. I have to get rid of these overlays so I can see what's there, honestly. I know you can't see what I see. So I'm going to go to Recent Topics right here. And then I'm going to go with Faces. And I don't know why there's two. So let's go to this one. This one Barbara started. It is a scream what you guys are doing. Okay, so this is new. I finally found some adhesive this morning. Okay, Cindy. Okay, the problem is, is I can't turn it. So some of these you're going to have to tip your head sideways. But, oh, I love that sewing machine in there. That's fabulous. Okay, so a lot of these are a surprise for me. Um, see where everybody's talking to each other? Okay, let's take a look at Mary Howard's. Oh, this drives me crazy that they're sideways. Oh, I love that you're using that. Um, is that the ghastly fabrics behind there with your little pink face? And then look how the face, it's not a straight line, but it's a curve line. Very good. Very, very good. All right. <laughs> You've been working on it, Roxanne, since I saw it earlier. Um, I think you were concerned that there wasn't enough definition between the two face backgrounds. I think it's fine. Those eyes are creepy, fabulous, weird. I love them. Absolutely love them. And I also, you know how I feel about Kaif. That background says something big to me. Okay, here's another side one. Okay. I think so far I'm boring. I've used too thin a fabric for face because the back shows through. Thinking I need to change the white piece of the white piece of fabric from the background. More color in the hair and clothing. How would you add glasses? Well, I'm gonna show you how you guys are gonna do this in a little bit. And yeah, I think you can make it more wild. I think you're trying to make it a little bit too representational, Grandma. Okay, then this one, um, with that background, she needed a bold face, so she changed the face to red. You're exactly right, and maybe we'll see the thing down there, Pines, where you did it. I think you were concerned about the horses, but they're just fine. Okay, let's turn our head sideways for HSV Jean. Fun. Boy, you went cuckoo with the background, and I love it. Okay, let's see. Debbie. Okay, she made the background, oh, you guys have been posting like Mad Men this morning, um, a little bit bigger, she says, and, uh, you know, you can always, you may end up keeping it like that, I mean, I don't know, and, and when you add to it, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I probably make two faces on this first attempt, I don't want to lose the words, make quilts on the left-hand side, I got to go back, I got to see that, oh, it's upside down, make quilts. Awesome. And yeah, there's no reason you couldn't do two people. Then you're going to be happy you've got that bigger background. Um, what do you, I like the way you put hair behind the face on one side and behind it on the other. By the way, how do you make a photo appear as part of the post and not just attachment? Okay, Barbara, that's going to be yours. I feel like Mr. Potato <laughs> make me laugh. I absolutely love it. Um, <laughs> it is. Still wanting my face to be realistic. Uh, my next face, I promise to be loser. I've learned that I just have a hard time being wild and crazy. Oh, don't you give up, Miss Lizzie. You're on a good start. Don't you give up. You're there. Oh, here's a background. Love it. Love it. This is what I saw this morning. This is where I started. So this is um, H-E. Okay, look how she's used the grapes as uh, her hair. And it looks as if you kind of fussy cut them and then slapped them down. Again, I'm thrilled you guys aren't fusing yet. I'm thrilled you're not fusing yet. Okay, and this is the one that I saw earlier, Roxanne. And you're on the right track. Keep going. Okay, and then um, this is So Skill. 
and she has so many wonderful little iconic things that you know are telling her story. You know it. By the way, we are working on a new website, and this was one of the things, that, and I, we're on the home stretch. For real, I'm not blowing smoke this time. Um, this is one of the issues that was brought up is why are they going up sideways? That's yucky. Okay. So one of the things um, I have to laugh, I'm going to show you ideas on how you can continue. That's my little lesson today. And one of the things was to put masks on them. So Pines, great minds. And don't worry about, yeah, the horses. We already did that. All right. Oh, this is fabulous. Just fabulous. Okay. Um, and that is Padma. I hope I'm not making you sick. I mean, not because of this, but because I'm scrolling too much. Let me scroll and then stop. Paola. You know what's so funny, you guys, is that, I mean, your names, when I see you, it's like, oh yeah, I know. Okay, so here's how you do glasses that was asked earlier. So much fun. And then I know she put things in here for her grandkids and stuff that really um, means a lot to her. And also, your background is kind of pink, I would say. And then going to the green was the perfect um, option because it's a kind of across from green in order to have that face pop. Going to green because it's kind of a, across from pink is a perfect way to have the face pop out. You guys have been bit it is Z. Okay, here we go in a couple. Okay, here we go. Um, he started allowing the logical me to take a rest, just the face for now. This is kind of fun. Okay, I'm going to get it so that you say this was rock and roll by the time you're done. <laughs> kind of. It does not cut the mustard. <laughs> I think he would. Okay, this one. Oh, okay, this is Red Work Renee. This is fabulous. Now, interesting. Okay, uh your background is super busy. And so the way you made the face plain is fabulous uh, because it pops it out. Good, good call. And I love that you have a lace collar. Thank you for that ode. Thank you for that ode. Here we go. Okay, here is Barb's, except it's Linda. I'm having too much fun with this. Okay, I don't know if you piece that checkerboard. I have no idea. I don't think you did, but there's no reason somebody couldn't do that. This to me is a slam dunk, which you've got going on here. Um, here we have B North. Uh, you feel influenced by Susan Carlson and her fabric collage technique. You're not sure you like the seam down the middle of your face. That is why I don't want people fusing things because as your person starts to take form, certain things are going to bug you. I, I can't even be, oh, look at the bug jumping up too. That's hilarious on the right-hand side. Uh, I can't tell you how many noses I did before I was satisfied with it. Okay, let's see. Two star. Oh, oh, those look like uh, three-dimensional things you have going on there. And then the lace and all that. That's a good idea. I like that a lot. Okay. I'm telling you, you guys, I feel like I know you. There's one person I'm going to stop at. And I'm just, here it is. <laughs> Okay, Barbara, our leader. That's who it is, you guys. That's who's keeping us straight on this forum. Here's Kathy's update face. There's another pair of glasses. This is why it's so important you guys share. Okay, there we go. I think we're getting there. DJing. Well, I'm trying to find Barbara Blacks because she said, I wasn't going to do this. I wasn't going to do this. And then here we are. I, those words behind you are beautiful on this one. DJ. Okay. And I thought this was an interesting thing that Liz was doing. And I mean, even though it all looks like it's fun and wacky and free form, it's not. So you are going to start additioning different things for different places. 
like the hat or the hair or whatever. Here we go. Be so skill. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. I will show my photo this way using as a profile picture. Okay. There you go. Just insert it in your file name. It's actually a great idea, Tiger Annie. And this is my face thoughts. Oh, I think it's great. Just keep going. I think the hair is hilarious in a wonderful, loving way. Love that hair with the spiky bottom thing. Well, Barbara, I don't know where you are in here. Oh, there's another one. There's another one profile. Okay, it looks like everyone's getting way ahead of me. It'd take me hours just choosing the fabric for my face and mask. I'm going to stop here with Diane, but isn't that the beauty of this project? Is that you can just get reunited with your fabric. It's absolutely fabulous. So thank you, thank you. And Barbara, I'm glad you got suckered into it. Okay, so I went and got my hair cut yesterday, and Lin I always cut my bangs when I leave, and it makes Lindsay mad. So she cut them yesterday, and she goes, they're shorter than I want, but I don't want you cutting your hair. So thank you, Lindsay. Okay, so what I want to share with you before the big news at the end, let me move the overlays over here, is just some of the things you can think about when you go to do, say, like um, the hair. So... I don't even know what I put up now. I did this yesterday. So I actually went and I Googled images um, and I did cartoon hairs. And so there's a bunch of cartoon hairs. But I want to say to you, get my finger, my teaching finger up. But it doesn't have to be hair, guys. I mean, I found this somewhere on the internet. Leaves. Why does it have to be hair? Or ha look at this one, this um, flower doodle. Look at this. It's it's half hair, and then she's got flowers and all that kind of stuff coming out. I mean, hair does not have to be hair. And, okay, a hat. Maybe you want to put a hat on. Well, who says a hat has to look like a hat? Why can't it look like a flower pot? Maybe with some sticks coming out each side or grass or something like that. Now, where I got these are on the internet and I would I would put in line ha okay, flower pot line drawing doodle. Use I got the best results when I used the word doodle. I did drawings before and all that and this I got well, I think on this one I didn't use the word doodle. Okay, so we're all so people, right? So why not go and Google different sewing things just to give you ideas? And it and when you make it, you, it doesn't mean it has to be literal, but I think that these are really good places to go to get ideas that, that you know, say who you are. Okay, are you a gardener? How If you're a gardener, what if you had, and I'm just what ifing, well, I probably would put a flower pot for my hair on top, and then I might have like the the hoe and all that coming in off the other sides. I mean, you can go as wacky as you want, and then maybe um, the boots or the shears for something on your chest, or let's say you're a baker, okay? What could you do with this? I, I just, I yesterday when I started preparing this, I got lost. I got lost on the internet in the most delicious way. I, I have to do one where I'm an art girl. I just, I have to do that because I've been so influenced by Joanne Sharp. And uh, oh, look at that. Interesting. They got spools in the art girl things. Um, yes, we are artist people. Okay, sorry, dog people. But what if you're a cat person? What if you had a crown of cats in your hair or all around or all around in here or something and climbing up your back and all that? I'm telling you, I am um I am making I am making more of these. While you guys work on your holiday project. <laughs> <Don't be racist. laughs> 
<laughs> so there you music person music person i could see hair being out of the notes easily oh and then i have to laugh because you beat me to the punch i i i looked up um masks masks and i came up with this image and I love it because not only are we seeing the masks that you could put on, um, but look at all those different eyes, you know? Uh, the other day, I put up an image of different shaped faces, and somebody said, well, it wasn't in the PDF. No, it wasn't in the PDF because it's something that I grabbed off the internet. So if you ever get stuck on these things, just think of who you are, things you love, and then just go look up doodles, like, you know, gardening, line drawing doodles, and you'll be amazed at what you get, and it will just get those creative juices going. So, John said that I should be asking you what you guys are going to be doing, um, your, the theme of yours. Like, are you going to be a gardener? Are you going to be a grandma? Is it going to be your grandkids? What are you going to do? And he said, just ask him and let's see what happens. And we've got a few minutes here before I get to the big news. And so uh, let's see what you guys say of who you are. I think that's kind of fun. Oh, and while we're waiting for things to post up, uh, Friday, I'm not going to be around. And so that will give you plenty of time to play. And on Monday, I'll talk about different ways to secure your face and different ways um, like if you want to do blanket stitch or whatever, and then we'll do on Wednesday, wrapping it up, like how to finish it. Traveling overseas. I like that, Carla. So you could have a passport. You could have um, a ship, you know, maybe going across here. I'm a quilter. Okay. So all your sewing things. Cons oh, oh, I love these. Keep them coming. Grandkids first. I'm certainly more than one thing you'll see. GG. Oh, I love this. I'm, I'm just, I'm watching. I'm, I hope you guys are watching too. A feline wrangler. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Theater costumer. Farmer. Oh my God, I'm going to love these so much. So much. My backyard. Cats, swings, sewing, birds, librarian. My daughter nods her head to you. Dragonflies, genealogist, nurse, photography, knitter. I can see yarn or yarn coming out of your head. A bionic woman with <laughs> Oh, I love this. Oh, I can see chemistry bottles and smoke and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I love this, you guys. I love this. Yeah, an airplane going behind your head. Yep. Army nurse. Oh. Except it's HGTV, not HQTV. <laughs> but that's why we're here. That's why we have the quiltshow.com, which I think is 10 times, thousand times better. Okay, um, rock and roller. Oh, Dover Books, yes, are another wonderful place to go, and they are copyright free. Mm -hmm. That is another wonderful place. Okay, I have two important now announcements. Are you guys ready? Um, I spoke about it a little bit the other day, and it went out in the newsletter today. But uh, I have a friend, Dee Christopher, who has been quilting since I think she was a little kid. And she has ushered many, many people into the quilting world. And um, she, I would say her thing is beginners, but certainly that is not, that's not it. Because she has taught at different stores, reeling in the new quilters. I feel so strongly about that. <clears throat> but now she's working for a college down in Southern California. And she has a group that she's been teaching online for a long time and she has to keep putting one foot in front of the other and she's um quite an art quilter you know she's she's the whole thing she's the whole mashed potatoes okay and so we were thinking she should have a class so on saturdays we're going to have d's saturday samplers at 10 o'clock 
Pacific time, exactly where you're coming here. Exactly. Now, this is going to be her first one this, this Saturday, all right? And on this one, she's going to introduce herself and then, like, share her favorite tools. And then the next Saturday, choosing and reading patterns. Uh, attaching, and then the next, attaching bindings, piecing intimidating blocks. Just, she's going to be doing this till mid January, and then she's going to dive into a project to do with you. So I'm going to keep you busy. Dee's going to keep you busy. We have, we have time to burn, and we're going to make sure that you are burning it with us. All right. So, okay, here's, okay, if, if you need to make a nurse's hat, Darcy, what you're going to do is you're just going to go Google a uh, line, line doodle nurse's hat, and it will give you a, a starting point. And remember, it doesn't have to be realistic by any sense of the mean of the words. Remember that. Okay. But now here's the other thing. I always talk about Brandy at customer service, you know, and um, you guys are so good to her. You write her. Uh, she's not a quilter, although she has eyeballing fabric and this and that. Well, I would say about three weeks ago to all of us players in-house, she announced her engagement to Ryan. And so then yesterday, we all got a wedding invitation. I'll show you there just as cute as it gets. And there's your, there's your brandy. There's your brandy. And there's Ryan. Well, guess what? They're getting married a week from Saturday virtually. And we have all been invited to it. They have put together the cutest um, web page. And their wedding is going to be online. So this is what I want you to do. This is your gift to me right now. And I hope she doesn't kill me. You're going to write to customer service at the quilt show dot com customer service at the quilt show dot com congratulate them in the title in the in the title part and then when you click on give her very small advice or use one word like like trust like you know uh, love like uh, memories and stuff like that and she is either going to kill me or love it, but I called Suzanne, and we think she will love it. So go to customer service at thequiltshow.com. Congratulate Ryan and Brandy. Look how she spells her name, you guys. B R A N D I E, and some sh some short message. And as a bigger gift, you could even say no need to reply, because she will think she has to reply to all of you and then she will quit and we don't want that but aren't they a beautiful couple they also have I mean they're just adorable on their website they had a video of the two of them it was a 15 minute video and they were pulling questions out of um a jar and answering them because a lot of people don't know Ryan and a lot of people don't know Brandy and it was how the people at the wedding could become familiar with both of them. So it's my first COVID wedding. It makes me so happy. So um, let the fun and games begin on that one. And uh, I will not see you Friday. I D Christopher, it's called Saturday Sampler D's Saturday Sampler will be with you exactly where you came today, 10 o'clock, and then in the morning Pacific, and then I will see you next Monday. So why am I not going to be here Friday? I'm running away from home. <laughs> but I'll be back. <laughs> and not a bad running away from home. I just need air, you know, and I need to go. I just need air. <laughs> so... Nothing bad, nothing anything, but I'm running away from home. <laughs> okay, guys, I, I will see you. And um, I always say when I go see my mom to the little old darlings, there I go, don't behave. <laughs> and they go, okay, <laughs> don't behave, but behave. <laughs> Have fun with your faces. I can't wait to see what happens. Bye-bye.